So the more than four out of five teachers in England think that Ofsted should be axed. They believe that the school's watchdog has what they say as many problems. Of course, this follows the death of the primary school teacher, head teacher Ruth Perry, who took her own life last year um, while waiting for an Ofsted report which downgraded her school to inadequate the lowest possible rating. So do we need to scrap the watchdog and start all over again? Well, joining us to debate this is Edmund Barnett Ward, a parent at Ruth's School and principal at LBS Ascot, uh, Christine Conniff. Good morning um, to you both. Um, so where do you stand on this then, Christine? Is Ofsted not fit for purpose? You have to have a regulatory body, but as it stands, it's not fit for purpose and there needs to be change. And I know they've responded um, since this, this happened, but it's still not gone far enough. And there's um, also a questionnaire and a consultation out at the moment called The Big Listen, which I looked on this morning, which is very in-depth, but probably too in-depth. But they do need to change for a number of reasons. And is it because it's too, too simplistic, it's inadequate, or there's just about three or four definitions? It's not nuanced enough? Exactly. So, for example, the definition of in inadequate, that could be so broad and it can be very serious or something that could be fixed very, very quickly, sometimes before an, an inspection can, you know, finishes. And I think, therefore, it is very unfair and terribly stressful on a head teacher at the end of the day carries the responsibility for that school. Edmund, it was obviously very stressful for Ruth Perry. The coroner said that the Ofsted report did contribute to her death. So what's your take on this issue? Um, well, I, I think it's very similar, to be honest. I, I don't think that Ofsted needs to be abolished. I think it needs to be reformed. And I think there are major systemic issues with it that need to be addressed. But um, it is undoubted that schools need regulation. And um, I, I don't see, I see the idea of abolishing Ofsted as being a sort of arbitrary um, position because we still need to have regulation and we will always need regulation and therefore um, if you abolish Ofsted you're just going to end up with another regulator so it'll be a, a, another body. Better to take what we have and make it fit for purpose. Edmund, what happened at your school in Caversham, at Ruth Perry's school, to see such a downgrading in such a short period of time? Well, um, the issues that that uh, that led that, that's there's a very complex answer to that question because um, it wasn't just simply a question of of what was discovered. It's the interpretation of what was discovered, but effectively it amounts to a very um, minor set of 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 um, uh, clerical. Uh, oversights okay. that, as, that were easily rectifiable within a very short space of time. In fact, it, the inspector themselves at one stage said to a governor that it would have been a, easy to rectify the problems within a few weeks. So is that one of the problems, Christine, then, that the Ofsted report can deem a school to be inadequate on a matter of bureaucracy, not necessarily that the children aren't getting a good education? Yeah, 100%. And I've read the report as well. And I was really quite shocked and saddened by what I, what I read because it was unnecessary. And I think is that, you know, the recommendations that come out from that, a bit more empathy and understanding. It, I, I heard you say that should it be, um, did teachers not like robust criticism, but I think it should be more rigorous evaluation. And we have to be held to account, but I think there's a level of empathy there as that needs. So for example, our school was uh, inspected back in September and the report inspector kept checking in with me. Every, once a day at least are you okay how are you feeling how are your staff feeling because at the end of the day it's an exercise to make sure children are safe and getting a good education it's not there to take an absolute beating and people will take that definitely you know definitely personally i would take it personally if something like that happened to me but in a way this i was going to say because i've seen my concern amanda spellman in this interview she's given her concern christine uh, uh is that we, this will go the other way and that the, uh, the ins a, a new inspection regime will be all worrying about what the adults think, i.e. you teachers, when it should be about mm. ensuring the best education for the kids. You've got to strike a, the right balance here. You do, I, I'd but like I to come back on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, uh, 
Amanda Spielman has consistently held the same straw man argument that our problem is with the idea of regulation. Our problem is not with the idea of regulation. Our, our, our problem is with a system that causes, consistently causes serious mental health issues, is driving a retention problem in the education sector. It's causing teachers to not want to be senior leaders because of the con potential consequences of an Ofsted inspection, the fact that their entire career and reputation can be flushed mm. down the toilet at the whim of a, 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 a an inspection process that is not transparent or accountable in the decisions sure. it makes. Well, it's a complicated and issue. I'm so sorry. We could talk about it for a lot longer, and we will pick it up another day with you. But Edmund Barnett Ward, there, a parent at the school, that Ruth Perry was the head, and um, Christine Conniff, the principal at LVS Scotland.